What's going on, guys? Welcome into our first Chicago Bulls YouTube channel here at Chat Sports. I'm super excited to get this going here. I have been a diehard Bulls fan my whole life. Grew up in the suburbs of Chicago, and I've been watching this team ever since the D-Rose, Ben Gordon, Andres Nocioni days. I'm super excited to start this channel here at Chat Sports. It's brand new, and we're going to be getting this going right now. And the first show that I wanted to talk about, because I do think this is probably the most important topic around the Chicago Bulls heading into next season. I think they got a big question mark about trading Zach Levine and whether he will be on the Chicago Bulls roster. So on today's show, we're going to be discussing the possibility of trading Zach Levine during the NBA offseason. I got mixed feelings about Zach Levine. We're going to be breaking down how I feel about him as a player. But before we get into that, guys, hit that subscribe button. This is the best way to kind of show my bosses here at Chat Sports that we want more Chicago Bulls YouTube videos. We're going to be racing, actually, with our Miami Heat channel that just started. We started Bulls, and we started a Heat channel here at Chat Sports. We're racing to 1,000 subscribers. So help us out. It's completely free. You can start us start here and help us kind of lead the journey and help us on our way to getting to 1,000 subs. Let's go down there, hit that subscribe button. But let's talk about it, discussing trading Zach Levine during the NBA offseason. I think Zach Levine is a very polarizing figure in Chicago sports. It uh, kind of feels like if you're a fan of him, you either love him or you really hate him. And I kind of fall in between with Levine. Taking a look at his stats from this past season. If you look at the stat sheet, I mean, you're saying Zach Levine is a hell of a basketball player. I mean, he's averaging 25 points a game. He's got pretty solid shooting splits. I mean, anytime you're at 48.5% from the field and damn near 40% from the three-point line, that is always a good thing for especially a shooting guard in the NBA. And Zach Levine, it's just he's very hit or miss. And we'll be kind of going through some pros and cons with Zach Levine right now. My number one kind of scouting report and takeaway whenever I'm watching Zach Levine He's a great shot creator. I mean, you can't take that away from him. His ability to score off the bounce, catch and shoot, getting to the rim. He really is the definition of a three-level scorer in the NBA. And honestly, I think his game actually translates to the NBA playoffs. We saw in that first play-in game for the Chicago Bulls, he absolutely took over the second half against the Toronto Raptors. And when he's getting it going, I mean, he legitimately looks like a top 12, top 15 player in the NBA when he's clicking on all three levels. But then we got to talk about a negative with him. It's the questionable effort and the questionable leadership. There's too many times this past season when I'm watching the Bulls, I'm kind of looking at Levine. I'm saying he's got to pick it up defensively because he is such a freak athlete. Normally, I think of defense, it's an effort, it's a heart thing. And with Levine, he has the athletic ability to, I really believe, be a super strong defender and just a consistent guard defender in the NBA. Haven't really seen it yet. But another positive with Levine, man, like I was just mentioning, his ath elite athleticism. You know, I think you got different types of archetypes in the NBA at the guard spot, but Levine, his combination of it being a shot creator and just the athleticism he brings to the Chicago Bulls and just the scoring aspect that he can bring from that wing position, that top of the kind of top of the half court set guard. He can really beat guys off the dribble pretty well with his athleticism. I mean, we've seen him in the dunk contest. That famous 2016 dunk contest versus Aaron Gordon was absolutely incredible. He's a leaper. He's a really solid at getting to the rim. His combination of shot creating and athleticism really intrigued me. But then again, it's the question, is he a winning player? I think that's where it is with Levine. You see him at the park, like your eyes, like when you're watching Levine, he's incredible. I mean, his highlight reels are insane. Like if you watch a Zach Levine highlight tape, you're telling yourself like, man, this guy could be a top 10 player. He could be one of the better guards in the NBA, but it comes down to it. Is he a winning player? He hasn't been that yet in his NBA career. He hasn't even really played in a real playoff game besides the Bucks last season, which was a quick five game series for the Chicago Bulls. He was great in the playing game against the Raptors and he was okay against the Heat when the Bulls got eliminated. But I do think his game eventually will translate to the playoff. And that's why I'm excited about Zach Levine. But I do think the Bulls have a question on whether they should keep him or not. And I'll give you guys my answer here in a second. But overall, Levine, he's got his highs. He's got his lows. He's a very polarizing player for the Chicago Bulls. But let me know. This is the best part here at Chat Sports is we like to get the fan interaction here. So if you guys would trade Zach Levine, just give me a T for trade in the comments. Or if you would pass, if you want to keep Zach Levine on this roster, give me a P for pass. Personally, I would move on. I think it is time for the Bulls to move off Zach Levine. This has nothing to do with him. I think he is a great player. But overall, I want a fresh start 
for the Chicago Bulls. I think this is a time where the Bulls need to kind of clean house this offseason. I think you're going to see them move off of guys, especially like Nikola Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan. I don't expect to see those guys on the Bulls roster this upcoming year. I think it's time to move on. Just get a fresh start. And it, maybe if you could bring in a true number one, and Levine could be a true number two next to a strong wing player, like a strong 3 and D guy like a Jalen Brown or something, I think he would be a good complimentary piece to a guy like Zach Levine. But overall, I feel like the Bulls have been kind of in that NBA purgatory where they're you know, not good enough or not bad enough to get a top pick in the draft, but they're not good enough to really compete for NBA championships. I just think it would be time to rip that Band-Aid off and have a fresh start. As always, guys, remember to hit that subscribe button. Easiest way to help us out here at Chat Sports and help us grow this Bulls channel. I'm super excited to get started on it. I love talking about the Bulls. I love talking basketball. I'm a diehard Bulls fan, and I just want to see this team honestly perform and go on deep playoff runs and win championships just like they were back in the 90s for the Jordan era. Guys, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time. Go Bulls.